So in today's video, we're gonna talk about adding structure to your panel and really more specifically, why you would do it and then the different types of structures that you can add to the panel. This is the Metal Roofing Learning Channel, brought to you by Western States Metal Roofing, where you can find a variety of colors and finishes, all while saving by buying Factory Direct. So the reason you would add structure to your panel is to eliminate oil canning, or at least to eliminate how noticeable oil canning is. Adding structure to your panel will not increase the cost, and it will not change the engineering on your panel. So the first type of structure is called clip relief. Now, clip relief is going to go right on the outside vertical leg here and the great thing about clip relief is it's barely noticeable. You see most of this panel here is flat and then you've got this real small area where you've just got a slight indentation. That slight indentation is designed to go over the clip. The great thing about clip relief is that it really lessens the likelihood of oil canning but at the same time visually it's almost unnoticeable especially from ground to roof you're really not going to see this very small indentation on a very small fraction of the panel so it's really a win-win situation so for these reasons at western states metal roofing clip relief is actually a standard feature of all of our snap lock panels so although it is a very good idea to add structure to your panel because it's going to decrease the likelihood of oil canning the reality is 80 or 90 percent of the jobs that we sell do not have structure added to them other than the clip relief. People usually like the look of a flat panel more so than something with, um, with structure. When we do sell panels that have structure, the vast majority of those panels would be with what they call striations. So striations are these, for lack of a better term, these little indentations that kind of look like waves in the panel. So the main advantage of the striations is that they're throughout the panel. So if you were to get a little bit of oil canning in the panel, it would be very unnoticeable. When you look at the styrations up close and in this video, they're probably going to look fairly drastic. But in reality, from ground to roof on a large job, they're much more subtle than I think what, what this up close is going to show. So the second type of structure you can add to the panel is called a stiffening rib. And that's simply a one inch wide, slightly raised indentation that's going to run equally spaced on the panel. And the advantage of a stiffening rib is it doesn't cover the entire panel like a styration does. The disadvantage is, although this is going to lessen the likelihood of oil canning significantly, if you were to get oil canning or a, a piece of hail that dented it, it's just going to be a little more noticeable than if you had a styration that runs through the entire width of the panel. So the final type of structure is called a pencil rib, and that has the same advantages and disadvantages as the stiffening ribs. The difference is that it's, it's a much smaller and less noticeable looking um, piece of structure. So in conclusion, the main point of adding structure to the panel is to lessen the likelihood of oil canning. There's no price difference when you add structure. It's not gonna change the way the panel performs, the engineering, or the lead time. There's four types of structure that you can add to your panel. Clip relief, which is very minimally visible, and that's gonna be standard on all of our panels. And then the other three would be styrations, stiffening ribs, and pencil ribs. <laughs>